cook together. If you have watched my apartment video, you probably know that I have a very tiny kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how I utilize the space that I have and how I actually cook in my kitchen. I'm going to eat this for cooking today. So I'm going to cut the veggies and put them in here. So let's do it. Because my kitchen is so narrow, I use a wooden cutting board that is wider than my sink so that I can have way more space for prepping my food. The board I'm using only covers a part of the sink so I can still use the water if I need to. I normally make several dishes in one go and having no space means that I have to plan in advance in which order I'm going to cook. Today I'm going to make ratatouille first. The recipe for this is really easy to follow because all I have to do is just to cut the ingredients and mix everything together. After that, it takes about 40 minutes to cook and I can use that time to prepare other dishes. Another tip for cooking in a small kitchen is that I will keep making as much space as possible. I will throw away any garbage right away so that my countertop will not be occupied. I do not have a garbage bin because it will take a lot of space and I just hang the garbage bag on the cabinet door instead. This forces me to throw away the garbage more often and also it's very convenient when I'm cooking. I also try my best to put any utensils or seasonings away right after I use it. I only leave the stuff that I use every day outside and to save space, I either hang them on the fridge or pile them up on top of each other. When I was looking for an apartment, I went to see many different places but all of them had very narrow kitchens. It seems like the kitchen is normally sacrificed to make more space for the main room. I still find it very inconvenient to cook and clean here but it does get a bit better as I continue to make small effort to keep the place as empty as possible. Now that I have put all of the ingredients in the pot, it's time to get it cooked. This is an automatic cooking machine made by Sharp. It makes cooking so much easier because it will do everything for you. All I have to do is just to put the pot in, set the suitable mode and press the start button. Since it's going to take a while for the ratatouille to be cooked, I'm going to make another dish now. What I'm going to make is pork and asparagus roll. I found the already made ones in a supermarket close to my house by coincidence. It tasted so good that I tried to make it by myself later on. It turned out to be super easy and very tasty as well. It also doesn't take much time to make so I really recommend this recipe.
last dish that I'm going to make today is pea sprout salad. I got to know about this recently and I have been eating it very often since then. It's really cheap because I can eat it twice. After I cut off everything, I just put it in a container filled with water, then it will grow out again after several days. I normally spin dry the pea sprouts after washing, then cut it in half. After that, I can add other ingredients like tomato, cheese, salmon, and so on. Today, I will just have a simple salad with tomato. Finally, the food is ready. I feel so hungry now that I'm editing this video and looking at this footage. Another frustrating thing with small kitchen is that it's very tricky to be able to wash and clean everything afterwards. What I normally do to improve this situation is starting to wash the stuff that are biggest and occupy most space like cutting board or pot cover first. After that, I will wash dishes and containers so that I can leave them at the bottom and pile other stuff on top of that. Due to the lack of space, I have to move everything around while washing so it sometimes feels like a puzzle game. Once I have washed everything, I will have to carefully pile them up on top of the sink for drying as well. It's not easy but I kinda got used to it along the way. To be honest, I like washing dishes a bit better than cooking itself. I just enjoy the feeling of seeing everything getting clean up. Sometimes I wonder if it's just me or there are other people who enjoy washing dishes as well. That's the end of today's video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family, or on your social media. Subscribe for more videos about life and travel in Japan. I made this video because some people requested it, so let me know in the comment box if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Anyway, that's all for today. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye!